Hello, my name is Steph Sibich and I'm the 2020 Artworks Emerging Curator. Our future in the landscape demonstrates and encourages positive climate action, declaring our collective responsibility to address one of the most pressing issues of our age. Our future in the landscape begins in Mancuriapiku, the reconciliation room at the Adelaide Town Hall. In Our Future in the Landscape, Mancuriapiku displays two works by James Tyler, courtesy of Gag Projects Adelaide. He investigates Australian cultural representations through the perspectives of his multicultural heritage, which comprises Nanga, Ghana, Maori, and European ancestry. Using experimental and historical photographic processes, Tyler creates contemporary artworks that reference Ghana Indigenous culture, Australian society, and the South Australian landscape. These two works explore Tyler's connection with Ghana land through learning, researching, documenting, and traveling on country. They were taken during a two-year period where the artist traveled and photographed different regions and environments of Ghana and surrounding Nunga regions. The artist has painted over the European medium of photography with ochre, pipe clay, and charcoal. He uses Nunga designs to represent Nunga people's intellectual, spiritual, and physical connections with country. The ochre and charcoal on the photographs are a physical presentation of the landscape. In this sense, they acknowledge and pay respect to Nunga people and their rich, cultural, spiritual and physical connection to the landscape of South Australia. These two works are part of Tyler's Taral Yendi Yata series. This is a Ghana phrase meaning to see yourself in the landscape or landscape photography and directly inspired the title and themes for our exhibition. Upstairs in the first floor gallery, our future in the landscape continues with work by Lara Tilbrook. Tilbrook is a South Australian artist and goldsmith based on Kangaroo Island. Tilbrook's earthy, organic treasures are intricately fashioned from found materials with a focus on environmental preservation, inspired by her conservational practices. Modelled in a custom-made, old-style display cabinet, the presentation of this work is both elegant and unsettling. The cabinet houses an impeccably crafted necklace made from echidna quills, bone and copper. Titled National Treasure, the work was made in 2013. Tilbrook's description of the work reads, in loving memory of the endangered kangaroo island echidna found on the roadside. Adelaide artist Jake Holmes works across a variety of mediums, including screen printing, mural painting, illustration, audio, and collage. His practice documents place and interrogates contemporary social and political issues. These works are from his poster series, Writing the Climate, which was presented in 2019 as part of the Guildhouse Collections Project in partnership with the Flinders University Art Museum. Each poster utilises a letter from the alphabet as a way to illustrate key factors contributing to the increase in climate change, as well as its urban and ecological impact. In this way, every poster is laid with meaning. Holmes selected and arranged these posters specifically for our future in the landscape. Together, they invite close inspection and consideration of the many factors surrounding climate change and promote our civic responsibilities for positive climate action. Our Future in the Landscape celebrates environmental leadership and positive climate action in the community. This is especially true in the work of local artist collective SA Artists for Climate Action. In an attempt to instigate positive action, other artists were encouraged to use their existing skills and knowledge to create their own climate badge and send it to someone they believe is doing positive climate action. Now the project has grown and includes badges by other artists, teachers, children and various members of the community. Recipients include neighbours, council members, politicians, artists and environmental activists. Makers and recipients are encouraged to share their experiences on Instagram using the hashtag climate badges. This display features a selection of badges, letters and social media posts by participating artists and recipients. Badges are also displayed on a pair of firefighters overalls belonging to one of the artists and reflecting positive community action in the face of recent bushfires. The display even includes a response letter from Sir David Attenborough, who received a hand-painted budgerigar badge from artist Zoe Frenny. Our Future in the Landscape also includes work by established artists and important members of our local arts community. Nikki Cumpson, who is of Afghan, English, Irish and Bakinji Aboriginal heritage, is a descendant of the Darling River people of northwestern New South Wales. Her work, Oh My Murray Darling, made in 2019, speaks to this connection in light of current environmental emergencies. Courtesy of the Artist and Michael Reed Gallery, 
The work was a finalist in the 2019 Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Awards presented by the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. It features a raw shark of semi-emerged trees and skyline folded and then reflected against the River Murray. Cumson's work highlights the importance of our environment, particularly our river systems, which are currently in a state of crisis. This depiction of precious trees and waterways creates a sense of reverence and provides an important platform to share stories of Aboriginal occupation and ongoing survival on Aboriginal land. Louise Flaherty is an Adelaide-based artist and arts worker whose practice involves working closely with the community and collections. Her work is inspired by the original flora of the Adelaide Plains in a long-term project titled Memorial for Forgotten Plants. Flaherty's practice develops meticulous ink drawings and plant material installations which detail the native flora across the many different suburbs and ecosystems of South Australia. Our Future in the Landscape features a framed selection of delicate white ink drawings on brown paper. An extension of her current practice, Dunes demonstrates environmental leadership as it is focused on seeking out and learning about the native flora of Adelaide creating detailed botanic drawings and then sharing this knowledge with the community. Dunes invites close inspection of its finer details, encouraging audiences to stop, think and look again.